this is Jim. And for a reason unbeknownst to Jim, his alarm didn't go off this morning. And he'll never know why. Because sometimes computers be doing shit. But that's all right. Jim has no need to panic. He only slept in an extra 30 minutes. And today, well, today is a snow day. Seeing as it's a snow day and he's not encumbered by the burden of preparing his hygiene and appearance for social interaction, Jim will be right on time for school. What, did you think he'd have the day off? <laughs> oh no. Uh, thanks to the almost indispensable adoption of the internet, the postmodern student doesn't dilly-dally their day away with such worthless endeavors like snow days. No. Uh, Jim's actually just started his uh, virtual first period gym class, so uh, let's let him get to work on that and we'll check back in in a little bit. Ah, lunchtime. I'm surprised we uh, still let our students waste so much of their time eating and socializing. Get them a meal replacement shake and give them another period of math. That's what I say. Jim probably worked up quite the appetite in digital gym class this morning, so let's see what he wants to order for lunch. All right, what app we using today? Uber Eats. Ooh, someone's feeling bougie. <laughs> Food delivery apps are the best. Constant indecision, abhorrent fees, astounding prices, long wait times, lukewarm food, and about a 39% chance that you accidentally get everything you order. <laughs> and I, I know when I put it that way, it sounds like the opposite of the best. But have I mentioned that, one, you can get your food delivered directly to your door with the push of only a few buttons. And two, that, um, actually, that's the only benefit. But I, there... I thought that little aside about food delivery apps would give Jim enough time to put in an order, but uh, he's taken a little while, he's got to be frugal, he just lost his job at Amazon yesterday. Um, no one actually fired him, just those, those damn uh, work review algorithms kind of found him to be expendable, and uh, they let him go by an automated email last night. That's alright though, don't, don't feel too bad. Jim understands that's just how the free market works, and maybe next time he shouldn't use the bathroom on company time. Ah, but we're getting off track here. Looks like Jim found a spot to order from, and they're running a buy 25, save 15 deal. Which is a really strange proportion in and of itself, and also Jim d doesn't want $25 worth of food for lunch. But the chance to get anything off this app for $10 doesn't come often, so let's just double everything in the cart and yes, only 25 bucks. Imagine what 25 bucks worth of food would have cost without that discount. All right, we've got something to eat, but we've got a little bit till lunch gets here, and we need to figure out something to watch. Except that isn't as easy as it seems for the postmodern person, because sometimes it's kind of hard to remember all the streaming services out there. But luckily for us, Jim came up with his own little ditty to help himself remember. Netflix, Hulu, Paramount Plus, Peacock, Amazon Prime Video, Disney Plus, Google TV, Curiosity Street, Discovery Plus, Crunchyroll, Acorn TV, ESPN Plus, HBO, HBO Go, HBO Now, HBO Max, Apple TV, Brickbox, BET Plus, and finally the PBS Video app. Whew. Now it's just time to, to, to pick which one we want to watch. Where were we? Right, Netflix, Netflix it is. Now we just gotta pick something on Netflix to watch. Okay, let's let's uh let's restart Stranger Things again. That was a that was a crazy case of analysis paralysis. We haven't had it that bad in a while. Um, but we got something to watch. Uh, we got something to eat. So Jim, dig in. Oh, this is awkward. This is this is usually around that time that 
Jim just caves and just gives into that inexplicable desire to waste as much of his life as possible staring at an empty phone. See, for Jim, his phone is sort of like a, a, a double-edged phone, if, if you will. When he's got no messages, frankly, it's pathetic. I mean, it's, it's fucking miserably pathetic. You absolute fat fucking douchebag piece of- But, uh, on the other side of it, when more than a few people are trying to talk to you at once, I mean, how do you handle it? Uh, how do you split your time amongst everybody and save some for yourself, too? I mean, mom, collections agency, and landlord all want to talk at the same time? At a certain point, you can only give so much of yourself, you know? But today, Jim's phone fell on th the dry side, so it looks like we're gonna have to fix that by going surfing on the timeline. Which is kind of similar to, to real surfing, except for the, the, the anger, the repetitiveness, the lack of movement. The, the girls in bikinis online are usually just dudes from 4chan. But, I mean, besides that, Jim shreds some fucking gnar on Twitter. I think he's actually about to drop a follow-up to one of his viral tweets. <laughs> hey, besties, really glad you liked my tweet about Willem Dafoe's lobster. I just wanted to say, if you like that, you'll love my new jumbo oven mitt that doubles as a dildo. It'll keep your hands safe and asshole prolapsed. Buy it now and get a free sunset projector, which is sure to stave off your crippling depression while you continue to waste your life away on this demonstrably divisive and inflammatory fucking hellscape. Also, free shipping for girl bosses. Surprisingly, when Jim spends extended periods of time on social media and his phone, um, he starts to feel even less connected and less social. Which is funny, because, you know, I feel like they should just call it anti-social media, but... <laughs> I thought that was good. Whatever, we're, we'll workshop it. But uh, Jim doesn't want to be lonely all night, too, like he was today. So fuck it, we're not going back to class. It's time to put in some work on the ladies. Jim's always had a hard time with dating apps, not just because of the obesity and the skin disorder and the inside out button dick and the flat feet and the torpedo dits and the elephant thighs and the permagaped asshole, but also because of the severely malnourished meat sack in his head most people would refer to as a brain. Dating apps are all about selling yourself and finding your best qualities, or at least your most desirable ones, and shamelessly putting them out there on display for the world to see so any potential mate can latch on to them. Dating apps are also about finding someone as desperate or hopefully even more desperate than you, so as to make sure that your short fling is as awkward as possible and leave some real long-term damage behind. Jim has never gotten a single match on any dating site, and Jim doesn't know why. Is it the way he looks? Is he even less desirable than he once thought? Is he putting the, the wrong parts of himself on display? Can, can girls tell how small a penis is through a screen? D does Tinder have smell-o-vision? Do dogs go to heaven? Nah, 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 scrap all that. It, it, it's just because Jim doesn't have a deep enough cut office quote in his bio. Th this'll do the trick. When someone smiles at me, all I see is a chimpanzee begging for its life. Oh shit, it, it worked. His first match ever. I, I guess girls really do like being compared to fearful, hairy, stupid animals. Who knew? <laughs> 4chan, that's who. Well, guess I need a ride. We're probably gonna drink, so I guess we should take a taxi. Ooh, did, did Jim say taxi? He meant to say a uh, unregulated, exploitative, parasitic ride-hailing app that just sends some random, unevaluated human to your house in hopes that they, 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 they take you to you where you want to go instead of, you know, cutting you up and feeding you to your dog. Not only does Uber and services like it exploit desperate labor markets with unfair pay and no benefits, they actively manipulate and take advantage of local politics and economic environments so as to strip any and all bargaining power that their employees could ever hope to have to use against them. But I guess that should be expected when they started their company by literally illegally dumping themselves on a thriving market where workers and owners have paid in hundreds of thousands of dollars for medallions and permits to keep up with local ride hailing regulations. Actively decimating, unemploying, and then re-employing with worse pay and worse benefits an entire labor force just like that. Hey, my, my rambling killed just enough time for Comrade Jim's driver to arrive. Let's let's accompany him down to the car, shall we? Bam! Dead. From what? I don't know. Probably something. Maybe maybe a gunshot. Maybe cancer. Maybe a bombing. Maybe a stress-induced brain aneurysm. I don't know. There's enough tragedy and violence to go around. Take your pick. Hey, a 
according to a quick uh, Google search my, my phone did while I was out there, um, my current symptoms definitely point to maple syrup urine disease. Who would have knew? Ho, 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 wait up, bring it back in. There we go, this is the last video of the year, We I, I got some stuff to say. Firstly, thank you very much for watching my content this year. 2021 was a weird one. I lost some people, didn't really go as planned, had to start working again. COVID's still just fucking doing its thing, I guess. I think Florida just set the record uh, today or yesterday, so that's epic. I don't know, it was a weird year. Betty White just died 20 minutes ago. I know we all remember her as just like this old lady who is really epic because she's old and funny and nice and everything, but she was... A phenomenal entertainer. Wonderful talent. Just like... I don't know. OG shit. RIP. This year was weird. Um, didn't really like it that much. But, the love I'm shown from you guys, uh, is, is unbelievable. I could take five months to work on something, and within minutes, I'll have dozens if not a, a hundred comments just being unbelievably nice to me. Um, I don't have a lot in real life. I don't have a lot of people in real life. Um, kind of moved away from everybody that I knew a few years ago. And YouTube and the people I've met through it have kind of filled that. And I cannot thank each and every one of you enough for all of the life and passion and happiness um, and drive you give me. It's, it's a wonderful thing. So yeah, thank you for watching my content. Uh, there's more of it to come in a uh, good old 22 and i wanted to keep getting weirder and harder and longer and what <laughs> uh i wanted i wanted to i want to keep pushing myself you know beef boys was the highlight of my year as well man not only has that been so fulfilling comedically for me and and really helped alleviate some of the stress i feel but also it's brought me so much closer to three people three dudes and to courtney <laughs> that i can't imagine my life without at this point so what a year what a year. Um, I hope to see you in the next one, unless within the next seven hours the world blows up. Um, for real, thank you for everything. Farewell. <laughs>